All right, what you have here is the starter kit. It's uh, the kit that Clear Cure Goo puts together for your beginner tire. Comes with everything you need to uh, give the stuff a chance to find out what you like most about what viscosity, if you like it thicker or thinner. Um, and it comes with the curing light that's essential to have right here. And uh, that's a UV light. It cures the thick and the thin, usually anywhere between three to seven seconds all the way to the core. That's all the way for the entire fly. You don't have to, uh, um, you know, sit it there for 10 seconds and then move it and then move it and then move it. It's just three to seven seconds as you're rotating on your rotary vise and you are cured to the core. The materials come shipped in these syringes. You come, it comes with this black shipping cap. <clears throat> it comes with this black shipping cap right here. All you do to uh, take that off is a quarter turn twist. It comes out. You replace it with your orange cap or your orange tip with again a quarter turn twist and you're ready to apply uh, material. To apply the material just start um, by applying gradual pressure towards the back of the syringe that'll get it started as I'm going to do right now and you can see it coming out. It will continue to come out like a cock gun. It will not stop until all the material has equalized pressure on both sides of uh, the syringe. You see it's slowing down now. To alleviate that problem or to make sure that you don't have any more come out, simply draw back on the syringe. That equalizes the pressure and you will no longer have to worry about it coming out any longer. Long term storage, try to keep it in a um, darker environment. I know these are, are thick, heavy, black uh, syringes. They do not let light through them, but it's always a good thing to keep it uh, as dark as possible. And you want to store it anywhere between, uh, anywhere above, say, 50 degrees. Um, Clear Cure Goo doesn't mind the heat at all, um, but it cannot tolerate uh, cooler temperatures. Again, so all you need to do to swap out the uh, heads is, again, a quarter turn twist. Remove, put that to the side, and then add your quarter turn twist and that's a great way to store long term if you're not going to be using it for a while you're done with your your fishing trip and you're not going to be messing with the goo for another two weeks just replace the cap that's a good way to do it short term storage what you can do is add uh, the red cap that comes with so we're putting this back on grabbing the red caps and then sliding that on. And what that does is it, it prevents UV rays coming through and curing your cap um, all the way down. If your cap does get cured, all you need to do, meaning if it gets stopped up, all you need to do is the quarter turn twist in and then stick a bodkin through the, tap, the cap and it'll push out the blockage at the back here and just remove it and you should be good to go. The two viscosities that we have is the thick and the thin. The thin is what's recommended for most freshwater flies. It is um, it is very fluid. It levels out very nicely, and uh, it penetrates down to the dubbing, which is key to make sure that the material bonds and grabs onto uh, things like dubbing and feathers, and that keeps it from popping off. It levels out faster than the thick. So if you want a real nice, smooth, um, perfectly round uh, head. You might want to consider using the thick and then finishing it off with a combination of the thick with the thin. Um, curing time again is three seconds, three to seven seconds. The light opens up in the back. It has a battery cage in the end of it. Three batteries. These are Costco batteries. You can use um, any type of batteries you like. Uh, rechargeables are just fine. Note that the um, negative side is always where the spring is. That's on any type of electronics. The negative side goes to the spring. The flat side goes to the positive. And uh, the same thing goes to here. The negative um, goes to the spring right here. And the positive goes to the flat side. Insert the cage. There's a little arrow right here. It's hard to see in the video. Um, little arrow right there. 
and that tells you to put it, the cage in that direction. Reinsert the cage, screw the end back in, give it a good tight one. This also comes out, which is the LED head unit. You want to make sure that all those components are, are tight and then you're, you're good to go with the light. That pretty much covers the, uh, the clear cure goo kit. Um, really is just a, a personal preference on how you tie, what you prefer, what you like. And uh, it's a great starting point for everything that you need to get started in the clear cure goo. Um, and then be able to expand upon that. Those lights are, are, are good for 100,000 hours, so they're real stable. We've just improved them uh, this year, changed the color, and uh, made it a lanyard that goes on with it so you can hang it anywhere you like as well as um, changing the color to blue and also note that the uh, clear cure goon label has been engraved into the uh, LED head unit.